Auzubillah minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, in this video we will be continuing our uh, discussion about the uh, my new discovery uh, about the arabic language uh, i have already told you that in the divine language which is called the lisan and arabian every letter has independent meaning based on their shapes and that the letters draw a picture uh, of the meaning now today uh, in this video we'll be looking at the meaning of the uh, letter ha and its uh, variants uh, which are the jim and the ha which are related to this to the ha uh, is the sharp shape you see the the ha uh, two ends of the ha meet in a sharp shape so it's always related to something sharp such as a division between two things and uh, the dot this this dot of the gym and the ha uh, changes uh, the meaning of the ha uh, so one meaning of the ha is a border or a boundary uh, a border is a hadun uh, is uh, you can see the ha indicates the border and the dal indicates uh, one country and uh, the other dal indicates the other country so uh, dal is uh, country is called daulatun in arabic so uh, you can understand that it is a border between uh, two countries the other words such as you know something sharp haddun remember and haddun is border and boundary is hudud boundary of something hudud and hafatun would mean an edge so the all these words are related to a border or a distinction between two parts uh, a sharp distinction between two parts which is indicated by this two strokes of the ha which end in a sharp end now i show you here in the word sahilun sahilun which means a coast uh, you can see the scene we already know it is related to water and uh, this is uh, water and then uh, you have the alif which which indicates the high level of the water high level so the water is here you see water and very it has to be a high level or large amount of water uh, to be indicated as a coast and then ha is the haddun or hudud uh, or the border of the country and lam is is uh, meaning cling lengthwise so lengthwise so see lengthwise of this border uh, the large body of water is clinging so one meaning of lam is to cling to something and so these letters are drawing a picture of a coast it should be very clear you should be able to see the coast uh, in these uh, letters very very clearly now as i've told you ha would means at the border at the border you can see at the border and then the dot of the gym is inside uh, this border so Jim has a meaning of uh, insight. Uh, in other words, in Arabic, jaufun, which means uh, insight. And ha, because they dot it outside, so it would mean outside, which is harijun. Harijun means outside. Harijun means outside, and you can see the dot is uh, outside of the ha. If you know these meanings, uh, that uh, jim means inside, and ha means at the border, and ha means outside, uh, many many words that contain this jim and ha uh, you can understand uh, the meaning very easily for example say to exit to exit means haraja and you can see ha we know ha means outside and ra means to go somewhere rahala or simply raha means to go somewhere uh, so from outside go some uh, you know go outside from somewhere and uh, Jim means inside from inside so this uh, the ra and jim do not meet so this is indicating the the expression from uh, or there is a disconnect between this uh, uh, going and uh, ca coming somewhere inside so haraja means outside going from inside haraja it is so easy to see uh, the meaning in here and the opposite of haraja to exit is dakhala which means to enter the khala and here dal means inside inside a dar dar or home inside a home and kha is from outside and lam is we already know unit propagation or a few steps a few steps so the khala would mean to enter so enter enter inside from outside if you take a few steps 
So say, say very easy, right, to understand. Now, if, if uh, dal means inside, then dal, uh, which has a dot above the dal, would mean uh, outside, the exact opposite. So these dots uh, always would indicate uh, something opposite or negative in meaning. So see, dahala means uh, to enter and zahaba would mean to go out. Zahaba uh, usually is used uh, just for going, but Arabic has many, many words that are uh, related to the same verb or same action, such as going uh, out or in. Uh, in. In this case, zahaba means to go out. So see, za means outside and ha means unknown and ba is a road. By uh, the road is shown in cross section on the bar, and ha is uh, means uh, any general uh, way uh, of going. The uh, going path is not known. This is why say Zahaba Ahmad Ilal Madrasati means uh, uh, Ahmed went to school. You need the, the preposition Ila because the direction is not indicated in Zahaba, so you need a preposition to indicate the direction. So see Zahaba, Da means outside and without any direction go on your way to go out. So Jim and Ha has exact opposite meanings. So Jim, the general meanings of Jims are to gather together, Jama'a, Jama'a and Yajma'u in the present tense. So which means uh, to gather together or to at attach something. You see, uh, you can see that these two parts of the gym they are attaching on uh, this angle and, uh, and and this attachment is indicated by the dot below and uh, the ha has opposite meaning harata to cut into parts so in this case the detachment uh, is uh, indicated by the dot above so exact opposite meaning so you can see jama'a would mean to gather together or to attach and harata would mean harata would mean to cut into parts or to detach, exact opposite meaning. So the general meanings of gym are gathered together to hide something, janna, to hide, and inside, we have already seen, jaufun means inside, uh, and ha would mean to limit on the border, and another meaning is life, uh, hayatun, hayat or life, and uh, ha would mean detach on the surface or on the outside, something visible, right? And uh, because Jim is inside, so something is a hidden uh, janna, right? Hidden uh, from view. So this Jim ha ha contain this shape, this uh, return shape, this return shape. So many of the words uh, that are related to these uh, three letters will have the return meaning built in into their meaning. And then two al other letters, ain and ghain. Uh, which you have already seen is related to the meaning of return. For example, Ada and Yaudu means to return or to come back. And uh, here you can see the reason this means return is that it is written the opposite way. So Ain and Rain has uh, two of these return shapes, two of these return shapes, but Jim Ha Ha has a single return shape. And you can see in these two words, Ada and Yaudu means return, so which starts with Ain. And it means, you know, you return a, a person to, to his home or to his base. And obviously the Alif and Wow indicates the past and present tenses respectively. But another word is Raja and Yerju, which means to return. And uh, actually both of these words are used uh, pretty much the same way, uh, even by native speakers of Arabic. Uh, who has a very big difficulty in uh, differentiating these two. But there are differences, as I have said in the divine language, every word is separate. So in this case, the difference is that uh, Raja A would mean something like to go back and to Ada would means to come back. And Raja A has a positive connotation and Ada usually have a negative connotation. Uh, and these connotations are very clear when you read the Quran, you will see that Raja use, is always used in a positive sense and Ada is always used in a negative sense. But both both would basically mean the uh, thing return, right? So in Raja you can see easily that Ra is meaning going somewhere 
and both gym and ein we have seen that it means return but see here the return shape of the gym is missing right and and here it would mean to disappear right to disappear so go somewhere disappear for some time and then return ein i say the the return shape of the ein is visible here and that's why it is meaning return so remember uh, the reason for the divine language drawing a picture and object is that all objects or concepts are created according to the shape of the divine letters uh, for more information please see my books uh, which are available from google books and uh, you can see all this uh, uh, these words that i have written out without any harakat please try to see the meaning inside and i will be making more videos like this inshallah until then allah hafiz